What? Already? Excuse me, Jonathan. Singer is back. Twelve unusual suspects go undercover. Can you unravel the clues? And guess who is behind the mask? Celebrities compete to stay anonymous. That was extraordinary. Covered up at all times. Their voices distorted in interviews. Security here is crazy. You can't get in anywhere. As week by week, I am bamboozled right now. They are eliminated. Who are you? And unmasked. Our crack team of detectives return. So if you snooze, you lose clues. Get ready what? for puzzling performances and crazy costumes. case of the Mars Singer 2022 is officially open. We are here today and tomorrow. Oh, it feels so good to be back, back to back. <laughs> I'm still Joel Dominant. If you thought we'd reached peak ridiculousness last time around, oh, think again, my friends. You're still my friends, right? Yeah. You. <laughs> it is amazing to have our audience back. Hello, everybody. job audience is to welcome our wonderful panel. Yeah. Look at you. You look so good, guys. <laughs> Some people said we'd run out of puns. Well, they were mistaken. <laughs> it's Mo Gilligan. <laughs> it's the return of the man. It's Davina McCall. <laughs> when she sings, you simply can't ignore her. It's Rita Ora. <laughs> and I always look up to him because he makes me sit on the floor. Yeah. It's Jonathan Ross. Hello, Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> you look absolutely fantastic, John. Did I see a bit of... Bit of sort of leather? Yes, I'm you wearing. Yeah, I'm wearing. I'm yeah. wearing um, leather. Well, to get you even more excited, they're shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Rita, you came out on top last time, didn't you? Yes, I'm really taking it upon myself to try and be a champion as many times as I can. You're after the hat trick. I, 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 yes, but at the same time, I don't have a hat on, so really, it's what comes through the heart. You don't need to wear a hat to get the hat trick, it's fine. <laughs> 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 but if you win this series, we'll buy you a hat. OK, yeah, yeah. Yes! Yeah. But I'm so happy to be back. This show, for me, is the funnest show I've ever done. And let's do this. Yes. Yes. 
Davina, now I know you're very meticulous with your notes. Yeah, I got really excited tonight. <laughs> I was like, ooh, fresh yes. book, opened it. There was a real kind of sense of ceremony about yes. it. Yes. You've really proved it doesn't work, but I like but that you I do try. it every time. Mo! Uh, yes, Joel? You're not the new boy anymore. I'm not. Uh, what do you expect it? Series one, yeah? I said to everyone, I said, look, I'm here for the vibes, yeah? I was enjoying myself. I won't get any right, but I was here for the vibes, yeah? yeah? This time, I'm here to win. I'm here to win this time. Whoa. Do you guys think I can win? Good luck, my friends. Thank you very much. Give it up for your panel. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, Tonight, six masked singers will face off against each other two at a time. After each head-to-head, -head, our audience will vote for their favourite and the celebrity with the fewest votes will go into the bottom three. It will then be up to our panel to decide who is unmasked. And our first face-off is... Mushroom versus Robo Bunny. First up, play that funky music. It's Mushroom! Oh, wow! wow. Stop it, that costume. I love the underneath. That's a very attractive yeah, mushroom. Underneath. That's such a cool outfit. Look at the face. It's so big. <laughs> it is so good. Woo! Wow. They're a big fan of heavy metal. It's Robo Bunny! Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> that is a strong bunny. What is going on? But I love the way Robo Bunny's walking. <laughs> Come on. That is so good. Remember, on this show, there are clues everywhere. You just have to find them and pay very close attention to tonight's clue packages, parts of which feature stunt doubles, because our celebs were just too busy interviewing stunt doubles. <laughs> you can never have too many. OK, <laughs> time for our first act. The costume is so small, I've heard there's not much room inside. <laughs> it's mushroom! Okay. First one in, let's go, guys. Mushroom, welcome to my woodland. As a mushroom, I'm quite mellow and carefree, but I have been known to sprout in a more serious part of the forest from time to time. I have been known. That's not no. Lancashire. Did you know that mushrooms help control life in the woods? They can help things decay and bring new life. New life? Could be a midwife. Call the midwife. Which is just like me. I like to start new things and try new lives. 128. What was that? In fact, when mushrooms pop their heads above the ground, they can take many forms. It might be a famous gardener. And as they grow, they might want to be any number of things. A gavel, an auctioneer's hammer. Maybe it's a judge. I know what you're thinking. This all sounds very serious. So I'll let you in on a little secret. I'm actually a real fun guy. <laughs> Till it's over. 
Alter, Fan. Oh, it's nice and quiet. Shh. Getting so many ideas. Not soon. Again. Jonathan. That was a fantastic start to the series, wasn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Mushroom, thank you. That lifted all our spirits. Did you notice that uh, in the package you had like a Lancashire accent? Yeah. And then when you I'm, were singing, yeah. that was definitely an Irish accent yeah. I heard there. It's so confusing. <laughs> I think you're an actor, you're a performer who can act. You're comfortable, taking on different identities, and you can do different voices. Here's what I think it might be. I know that she's got a law degree. Yeah. I know she can sing, and I know she can do accents. I think it is Rebel Wilson. Oh, fun. That's what yeah. I think it is. Rita, what did you think? From my first instinct, you know, you really do remind me of a performer. I think, actually, you might be in music. Maybe you're Sia. You could be Sia. <laughs> and she covers her face all the time. If it was Sia, though, then it'd be like, take it off, take it off. We still don't really know who you are. <laughs> Davina McCall. It literally could be anyone. I thought it was maybe an actress. Then I saw also the legal thing, and I went Vicky McClure. <laughs> She's obviously an amazing actress. She's a great singer. Accents she can do. But that's what I've got. Mo, who do you think it is? I thought someone who likes the earth. Who does like the earth? And then I heard the accent. You guys were here in Lancashire, but when she started singing, I was here in Scandinavian. I think it could be Greta Funberg. <laughs> Funberg? Greta Fun is it Funberg? Fun guy, fungus, Funberg. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, so, look, look, look at you guys. Get off the stage. <laughs> Would you guys like another clue? Come yes. On. I think okay. we need one. Okay. Yes. Can you give us a little fact about yourself, please? I just want to bring peace and love, man. Want to bring oh. peace and love, man? I think it might be Liam Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hair, it's the hair. That's what the panel think, but how about you guys? Tweet us with your guesses using the hashtag MasterSingerUK and your tweet could feature this series. So who's closed cup inside Mushroom? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mushroom. <laughs> So confusing. I know. Are the panel growing close to guessing Mushroom's identity? Who do you think's behind the mask? Are the panel getting close? Well, you'll have to wait and see ya. <laughs> Don't go switching, because after the break, it's Robo Bunny and we have our first face off folks of the night. The show with more amazing reveals than a naughty calendar. Available on my website. <laughs> For the break, Mushroom performed and the crowd ate it up. But now, this rabbit's voice is irresistible. It's Robo Bunny! <laughs> Thank you. 
Salutations, humans. Allow me to introduce myself. Buddy! You thought I was a real tough guy, eh? You could be someone who's a hard man. American? No, that sounds like a fake accent. Well, that's just my shell. I'm actually a real softie who's part of a machine. Do you think that's a man? Yeah, it's a man, I think. You sound like a girl. Now, I'm not gonna rabbit on about hard exteriors. But I will say that I'm here to control, alt, delete what you know about me. Control, alt, delete? Maybe it's somebody who likes computers or video games. So buckle up, because I came to play. Let's hop to it! Are there, actual, there are actual people in the carrots! Oh, my God! A few stolen moments is all that we share. You got your family and they need you there. <laughs> Though I try to resist being last on your list, but no other man's gonna do. So I'm saving all my love for you. Davina, what did you think? What just happened? I just, I have no idea. Well, I didn't I mean... think the show could get any weirder. <laughs> well, first off, that was so unexpected and completely extraordinarily beautiful. So thank you so much. <laughs> I wasn't entirely sure whether you were going to be a man or a woman. It's a man. It could be a man and a woman. <laughs> but where, though? They could be, like, lying across this bit, maybe. <laughs> Back to you, Davina, sorry. So, Troll, Alt, Delete. Yes. Drake had a song called Controller. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, maybe it could be Drake. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then I was thinking Robot Wars, so I'm going to go with Dara O'Brien. Wow. You know what? It could be. It sounded a bit like it. I mean, I'm never right normally, but I'm excited with this one. <laughs> I like that. Mo Gilligan. So when I looked at some of the clues, there was a, there was a tough guy. And then I thought there was the thing of like machine, right? So I thought of a film that's called uh, Machine in the title, which is Mean Machine. Vinnie Jones is in that. So I thought it could be Vin Vinnie Jones. That's good. And he can sing. He can sing, Mo. He yeah. can sing he as well. He can sing. Yeah. Jonathan, what are well, you thinking, my friend? First of all, can I say I'm a little bit worried about the health of the four carrots in the pot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
They're having a real <laughs> crash right now. We, want, we need to get them some sugar or something, because they're in a bad way. But when, when he first came out in the robo suit, I thought, could it be? Could my prayers have been answered? Could it be Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I'm still holding on some hope. Get to the chopper! <laughs> Uh, but I love that performance. I mean, if I had to be pushed up, I'm going to go with... Uh, what was that popular singer you mentioned earlier? Drake. Yes, I'll go with him. <laughs> <laughs> Rita. You know, first of all, this is by far one of my favourite outfits that I've seen on The Masked Singer. Yeah, 100%. Yes, it's so yes. good, yes. And they're living and breathing it. And... I'm thinking more sort of like cars, Top Gear. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Top okay. Gear. So like Paddy. Machine. Part Paddy, of the McGuinness. Machine. Paddy McGuinness. Paddy McGuinness, Machine. I'm going to go with that. No lighty, no lighty. If we're talking about Top Gear, he doesn't do Top Gear anymore, but he is now a farmer. Stephen Fry. No, not Stephen Fry. <laughs> he never did Top Gear. Didn't he do Top Gear? No. no. Stephen Fry wouldn't have done what he did. This is a lovely motor vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> It could be Jeremy Clarkson in there, don't you think it could be? Do you guys want a clue? Yes, yes please. Yes. Have you got a uh, fact for us, Robo Bunny? Why don't you take a look for yourself, wise guy? There's on a the QR back. code on the back. Joel, if you scan it, you'll find out you've got COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yeah, open QR code. It says, uh, I might be made of metal. But that doesn't stop me making a splash. Has that helped? It's helped as much as they ever do, which is not at all. <laughs> I think it's Elon Musk. Elon Musk? You're going <laughs> Elon Musk? Yeah. Elon Where Musk. did that even come from? Oh, I don't know. Elon Musk is carrying this. grimes in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's inside <laughs> this carrot-growing machine? Well, only vitamin C when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Robo Bunny. <laughs> Definitely Elon Musk. It's Elon Musk. Have the panel guessed Robo Bunny's identity, or are they going down the wrong rabbit hole? What a performance! The panel really do like to rabbit on, don't they? But have they rumbled this rabbit? I'm not telling. So. Studio audience, who do you want to see again? Mushroom or Robo Bunny? The winner will stay in the competition and the other will be in tonight's bottom three. Please welcome back Mushroom and Robo Bunny! <laughs> Studio audience, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. The results will be revealed after the break, so don't go anywhere. Who's that behind the mask? Who's that behind the mask? <laughs> Welcome back to The Mars Singer, where our celebrities are facing off, except we can't see their faces. Before the break, our studio audience voted for their favourite masked singer, Mushroom or Robo Bunny. The winner will be safely through, but the other could find themselves being unmasked at the end of the show. <laughs> I can reveal the masked singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is... Congratulations, Robo Buddy. Well done. Head off down your tunnel, my friend. I love Robo Buddy, man. That's so funny. Give it up for Mushroom, everybody. Yeah. Oh. Sadly, that means you're in tonight's bottom three. Later, the panel will decide whether you will keep your place in the competition or be unmasked later tonight. But for now, give it up for Mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom was amazing. You did good.
But who will be joining them? Time for our next face-off. It's Donuts versus Chandelier. Yeah! Get ready to go nuts. It's Donuts! Yes, please. Donuts! Who's ready for some light entertainment? It's Chandelier! Oh, look at Chandelier! Oh, wow! Oh, wow. That's really stunning. Incredible. Wow. If these two had a baby, it would be a ring light. <laughs> I enjoyed that too. Yeah. All the sprinkle ladies, all the sprinkle ladies, now put your hands up. It's Donuts! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! I hope you got a sweet tooth. What did you speak of? Like a famous chef, maybe. Speedy. Is a sports person? Maybe he's a runner. I've never been the glazy sort. Maybe it's all that sugar. Scouser. Being quick has helped me run ice rings around the competition. Dancing on ice. And to take on the cream of the crop. And being one of the best, that was always one of my goals. Gold, I think he might be a footballer. In this competition, I'm going to do my best to jockey for position. Or disc jockey. Scouser. Who's a scouse disc jockey? There's just one question. Who am I, though? Some of the clues in the VT package. I seen something about extra speed, jockey the competition. Mm. If it's a jockey, it could be Frankie de Tori. He's too tall, he's too tall. Frankie de Tori's tiny. No, but if he's in there, he could be on a couple donuts to make him tall. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Davina. What I love about you is your charisma. You're obviously used to huge crowds and performances. So I was thinking some kind of footballer. Oh. I, I thought I detected a Scouse accent. I'm going to go Robbie Fowler. Robbie Fowler? That's a good guess. Fowler. That's a good guess. Jonathan. I know you're not performing at your full strength. Because I was walking around earlier on and I saw what I thought was a pile of donuts and I grabbed one a snack on and I've been eating this under the desk. I, know. I don't know what part of your body this is. I have a horrible suspicion it might have come from the back area. <laughs> <laughs> Could it be, if we are thinking about the boxing angle, world champion who loves a song at the end of every match when he wins? Could it be? Tyson Fury. Yeah. Will you not in the one? <laughs> Why so long? Well, you spoil my big oh my I was just trying to get the crowd behind me. Um, <laughs> here's another big clue, and this is the one I'm going to go with. I saw that while Donuts was walking away, he was eating a snack. What snack was he eating? Did you see what he was eating? Chris. He was eating Chris. What footballer is famous for his association with Chris? It's Gary Lineker. Gary Lineker. Oh. That's so amazing. Let's the finest. That's good, Detective Wise. Yes, Jonathan. thank you, thank you. Rita. Maybe it could be a good friend of mine who is northern, and I actually might think this is Nicholas Grimshaw. <laughs> I actually oh. do. He's and he also guy. was a celebrity oh. on British Bake Off. That's a good guess. Oh, that's, that's really good. Really yes. 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 He that's was. very good. Do you guys want a clue? Yes. Well, tell us something about yourself, Donuts. As well as being sweet, I've also been savoury. <laughs> savoury? Sweet save, and savoury. You save. Get... <gasps> it could be football. Yes. I think it's a footballer. I think it might be Michael Ish. Owen. Yeah. Don't forget to tweet us your guesses using the hashtag MarsingerUK. Your guess could feature on this very screen somewhere. <laughs> so, who's holed up inside donuts? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for donuts. <laughs> Were the panel's guesses correct, or has Donuts left them glazed and confused? I'm on a sugar high after that performance. I do not know how the panel haven't guessed me yet. Or have they? Well, we'll have to wait and see if Donuts hit the audience's sweet spot. But now, it's chandelier, chandelier. <laughs> <laughs> is to meet you. I'm Chandelier. I don't know if I ever thought I would be a Chandelier. There's a boat on top of it. That could be Blue Peter. They certainly weren't a common feature in my early life. <laughs> in fact, sometimes I would dim my lights deliberately and keep my cards very close to my chest. Game show, play your cards right. So shine bright. I'm not saying that was one of my brightest ideas, but who knows if I'd be the person I am today if I hadn't? Suitcases in the hallway. He travels a lot. Don't expect me to hide my light under a bushel here, though. Bush, so maybe I'm a celebrity? Because I know how to chase away the darkness. I'm here to shine and dazzle. Shine bright like a diamond. Wow, look at that. Look how sparkly. That mouse is having a big night out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, a bit of Patsy time Patsy. for you.
so crazy. For thinking that my love could hold you. I'm crazy for trying, crazy for crying, and I'm crazy for love. Love is also featuring Glenn Hoddle from Series 2 as well in the background. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love that. Jonathan, what did you think? Chandelier. <laughs> I love the sound of your voice. What a lovely tone, a warm tone to it. I think you were trying to disguise your voice a bit. Um, here's one clue I noticed. There were some suitcases in the hallway. There's a mm. famous song from Evita, Another Suitcase in Another Hall. Could be Elaine Page in there. She's got a nice quality to her voice as well. Rita Ora. I honestly think your voice is spectacular. Yes. I, I really do. I think you have an incredible tone. You said you keep your cards close to your chest. That gave me Rachel Riley. Okay. Good guess, yeah, yeah. But hearing your voice, now I think you're a singer. Davina. Did you see Chandelier walking all the time on the stairs everywhere? Yeah. And I yeah. thought of Steps. Oh. Right, that's and cool. And one of their albums was Light Up the World. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm going to go with Claire Richards. Yeah, that's a good guess. Mo, <laughs> oh, finally. Cards close to my chest. Yeah. Automatically, I thought of magic, and I oh. thought of it could be Debbie McGee. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah, that is a good guess. Yeah. Uh, you want um, another clue? Yes. yes. Yes, please. OK, tell us something useful about yourself, please. Chandelier. I've shone my light in some very cold places. Jane McDonald, cruising on the cruises. Jane McDonald. Guys, the lights are on, but who's at home in there? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chandelier. I think you might have it, Mark. Have the panel had any bright ideas? Or have they been left in the dark? I loved shining out there tonight, but who am I? I'm not telling. <laughs> so, studio audience, who do you want to see perform again? Donuts or Chandelier? The winner will remain in the competition. The other could find themselves unmasked at the end of the show. Please welcome back Donuts and Chandelier. <laughs> Stuff. Studio audience, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. Studio audience, please vote now. <laughs> the results are in. I can reveal. The masked singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is... <laughs> Donuts! Yes! Wow! Well done, Donuts! Congratulations! Woo! Head up down the tunnel, my friend! Unfortunately, you are now in tonight's bottom three. Later on, the panel will decide whether you stay in the competition or be unmasked at the end of the show. But now, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Chandelier. <laughs> Thank you so much for us down the Now, don't go changing, because after the break, it's Lionfish versus Firework in our final face-off of the night. The 
singer. It's 2022 and we still don't have a clue. <laughs> Before the break, our studio audience sent Donuts safely through to sing Another Day, leaving Chandelier in tonight's bottom three. But who will be joining them? Let's find out in our final face-off of the night. Lionfish versus Firework. <laughs> it's time for the main event. I ain't lion, it's Lionfish! Wow, look at that. That's so dramatic. Oh, that's such a fun costume. They're so excited they could burst. It's Firework! Yes. I love this so much. On with the clues now. I've Googled it, and a lionfish is actually a real thing. A fish lion, on the other hand, is not. It's lionfish! <laughs> One, two, one, two. Hello, my beautiful creatures, and welcome to the fishbowl. Oh, that's German and French. Oh. I'm Lionfish, and it's my pleasure to be your host this evening. Is that a man or a woman? I'm aiming to bring some soul to the proceedings. I hope that joke wasn't too cheesy. <laughs> soul singer, maybe. Soul cheese? They say it's never too late to start. And trust me, I should know. Started late in life. Got successful later. I might be a lionfish, but I'm very gentle, I promise. I only use my barbs to defend myself when absolutely necessary. My barbs? A barb can be an attacking joke. So fear not, I'm here to have a good time. Is it a drag, a drag act? And I'm hoping to get under the skins of this fabulous costume. Yes, Yes, Wow. Fish, that was exquisite. Okay. So beautifully performed. I don't think you're an opera singer. I feel like you are some sort of cabaret, theatre, musical singer. 
So, Lin Manuel Miranda. I love Lin. I think that's a very good guess. Mark well, Gilligan, who are you saying? I felt like I was at the Royal Variety performance. That was so good. <laughs> you see, when you look at the clues, uh, the soul singer, I thought it could be Heather Small. <laughs> because that was some deep tones in there. Yeah, deep tones. <laughs> Rita Ora. Honestly, I think I know who this is. Oh, Rita, you could be a woman. The face is kind of frowny, a bit like one of my favourite movies, Finding Nemo, and Dory, and who plays Dory's voice? Ellen DeGeneres. Never before has an audience gone, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Jonathan. Fishy out there said, once I've peeled off these skins. Yeah. Skins was a very popular TV show. I loved that show. Yes. i tell you who was in Skins. Who's that? Nicolas Cage. Nicholas Cage. What episode of Skins did you watch? Are you getting <laughs> Are you getting Skins confused with Face Off? Yes. Yes, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Carry on, carry on. I tell you who was in Skins, Jack D. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna go now because I can't top that. <laughs> uh, mate, do you want a clue? Yes. yes yeah. please. Okay, what little nugget of information can you give for us? Help me. I've appeared in places I've never been. I've appeared in places I've never been. Maybe it's someone who's been in trouble with the law and they're just trying to set up an alibi. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have the panel taken the bait? We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lion Fish! <laughs> Beyond the sea. Hey, Rita, where do you keep a lion? In the cage. Maybe you got it. <laughs> Have the panel caught who Lionfish is? Or have they been fooled, hook, line and sinker? The panel finally got to hear this Lionfish roar. But can they work out who this Swish Fish is? After the break, it's our final performance of the night as we edge closer to our first unmasking. But now... How do you fancy winning an amazing lineup of prizes worth over £125,000? First up, there is a show stopping £40,000 in tax free cash up for grabs. You'll also win a brand new VW camper van worth over £75,000. Staycation in your very own camper decked out to help you feel right at home wherever the road takes you. Plus, kick yourself and your family out with £10,000 to spend at Halfords on whatever you want. You could also get your hands on the Mars Singer VIP package, which includes five tickets to the live tour in April 2022 and some very cool merch. What are you waiting for? It's a camper van! <laughs> get entering now. It takes seconds for your chance to win. Welcome back to The Masked Singer, the show that's got us all scratching our heads. Or maybe it's the nits. Before the break, Lionfish made a splash, but now, hoping they'll rock it, it's Firework! Woo! Of energy. So loud, yeah. Oh my god, what am I like? I've always been a pocket rocket. A total bundle of energy. But that's just my style. Style? Fashion icon? Maybe that's because fireworks are designed to make people smile. They're modelled to be colourful and create joy and happiness. Sounds like someone from up north. A firework makes any event a party! And you can't have a party without a few fireworks! Did someone put it on an accent? Normally, you'd find us in the sky, but this one has also lit things up in another fashion. Fashion designer. So stand back and shield your eyes because I'm about to walk into this competition with a bang!
mistake. I think I'm losing my mind. My heart beats out of time. I'm seeing Hollywood stars. You strum me like a guitar. Yeah. Strum me like a bass drum. Sparking up a river. Baby, come on. What did you think? I love, love, love your energy. I thought somebody who's really fun, you seem pretty sporty, you seem very sort of in control of your body, and I was going to go with the Sporty Spice Melcy. Yeah, that's a good guess. Yes. Jonathan, who do you think it is? There was lots of reference to fashion and modelling in there. I think it might be Jodie Kidd, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Mo. Go on, Mo. Oh, this one was very tough because the accent sounded like it was somewhere from up north. But the way you sung, mm -hmm. I couldn't hear the accent. So I don't know if there's someone that's trying to play us. Then I thought the pocket rocket, someone who's fiery, might have done some modelling. And it could possibly be Melanie Sykes. Oh, that is a good one. <laughs> the clues said a lot about modelling, about the kind of red carpet. He's somebody who's out there in the fashion world designing. It really made me think of Molly May. So that's who I'm going to go with. That's that's interesting. A little ripple of applause there, like we're at the cricket. <laughs> <laughs> you need a clue? We really yeah, need a clue. Yeah, we well, need I'll one. I'll give you a clue. Do you have a fact for us, Firework? Well, I light up the street with a different kind of flash. Light up the street with a different kind of flash. Yes. Uh, this actress used to be in Coronation Street. Yes. And she was in that series called Our Girl. Oh, Our yeah. Soldier. Yeah. Michelle, Michelle Keegan. Michelle Keegan. Keegan. Yes. That's more than a cricket applause. <laughs> well, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Have the panel passed with flying colours. We'll only find out when the mask comes off. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fireworks! Yeah. Were the panel bang on with these guesses? Who do you think Firework really is? That performance felt amazing! I am sparkling right now. So, studio audience, who do you want to see again? Lionfish or Firework? The winner will stay in the competition, the other will join tonight's bottom three. It is time to vote. Please welcome back to the stage, Lionfish and Fireworks! Here they are. Remember, studio audience, you are voting for your favourite masked singer. Studio audience, vote now. I can reveal the mask singer with the most votes and keeping their mask firmly on is... <laughs> Lionfish! <laughs> Congratulations. Head off down the tunnel, my friend. Somewhere beyond the sea Oh, oh, firework, I'm so work. sorry. That means you're in tonight's bottom three. Very soon, the panel will decide if you'll stay in the competition or be unmasked tonight. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, it's firework. Get up, down the tunnel, firework.
Yeah, it's so wonderful. Thank you. OK, you've got time for a quick refreshment break because in a matter of minutes, either Mushroom, Chandelier or Firework will be removing their mask. the mask singer. Yay! Robo Bunny, Donuts and Lionfish have secured their places in the competition, but for Mushroom, Chandelier and Firework, their fates lie in the hands of the panel. It's a tough one. To help you decide, here's a reminder of all three performances. You blow up you. Is it Jonathan? Who have the panel decided to save first? Okay, you know this is always such a tough part of the show. You haven't had a chance to hear that much from any of you, but the first person that we're saving this evening is. Jonathan, please tell us the second mass singer you would like to save. The second mass singer we'd like to save is... <laughs> ..is Mushroom. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Firework and Mushroom. <laughs> Chandelier, sadly. That means your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end, and in just a moment, you will be removing your mask. But first, who do you think is behind the mask? I'm coming to you first, Mo. I think I'm going to go with Debbie McGee. Yeah. Davina McCall. I'm going to have to say Claire Richards. Claire Richards. <laughs> and steps. Rita Ora. I'm going to actually say Rachel Riley. Jonathan Ross. I think it may well be Elaine Page. Okay. <laughs> Elaine Page is a great shout. There's only one way to find out. It is time to reveal the identity of our mask singer. Woo! Who's behind the mask? Take, Take it, it off! Take 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 it off! A big fan, do you know this? Yes. Oh my gosh! I listen to your songs every day. Oh. I can't believe I was so close. You were not close. I, was I said it. Close. I said the name. I said it for small. I said it for lionfish. You know, I said it for lionfish. Yeah. But I'm not lionfish. <laughs> 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 but Heather sounded beautiful, but it didn't sound like your voice. Were not you disguising at all. your voice? I was. Oh, because man. it's very distinctive. I've been told. Yeah. So distinctive. Yeah. So distinctive. What threw us off a lot was there was a ship on your head. Yeah, what was the ship? My name's Heather Small, and my initial is M in the middle, HMS. HMS. Oh. Oh. That's a great clue. That's a very good clue. Why did you decide to do my singer? Because I saw Gabrielle and Joss yeah. yeah. say it was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. So I thought I'd give it a go. 
Is there anyone that you haven't told? Yes, my mother. She'll be so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Would you apologise to her for us for sending you home first night? Right. Because I think if no, we'd have just come and hunt you down. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please sing again, but with your voice? Oh please! I don't know. I've practised so much with the other voice. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Man. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. tonight. We'll be back tomorrow for more Masked Mayhem. But until then, performing one final time, Unmasked at last. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Heather Small! Yeah! Crazy I'm crazy for feeling so Pretty sure I know who it is. But who? Oh my god. Will be unmasked. Who'd have thought Heather Small, did you guess? And you heard we're back with Joel and our superstar panel when all new The Mask Singer continues tomorrow at 7.30. New drama based on real events and starring Maxine Peake and Stephen Walters and begins tomorrow night at nine. And next, this New Year's Day, step back in time with the Crawleys in the network premiere of film Downton Abbey.